este fue el juego que definitivamente me alejó para siempre de las consolas. Este juego salió en 1999. Yo me hice por fin de una computadora hasta el año 2001. El primer disco de una revista con la que me aficioné mucho, que era de España, tenía el demo de este juego. Yo hasta ese día era totalmente consolero. Venía yo del Super Nintendo y tenía algunos años sin jugar. Cuando instalo este demo, siendo totalmente un novato en la computadora, de verdad no tenía idea de qué, de qué hacer. Era abrumador. Fue en ese momento que me di cuenta que jugar en PC y jugar en consolas son día y noche. No están peleados. Los console pisans tienen derecho a existir, pero uno no quiere simplemente probar sus cosas. Ahorita estamos a 1080p, que es una resolución un tanto baja, pero como estoy grabando a 60 cuadros por segundo, YouTube no te da las dos opciones de grabar a 2560 y a 60 cuadros por segundo. Que la verdad, para lo que estamos haciendo, que es apenas ver el menú y los tutoriales, 30 cuadros por segundo hubiera sido suficiente. Además, también estoy probando hacer el voiceover, es la primera vez. Se darán cuenta que no tengo ni guión, ni estoy del todo satisfecho con los parámetros del micrófono porque es muy sensible, demasiado sensible. La computadora está tal vez a un metro debajo de donde está el micrófono y la sigue capturando los ventiladores, entonces es un problema. El teclado es mecánico, entonces cualquier cosa que haga en el teclado va a sonar, igual con el mouse. Una disculpa, esto lo mejoraré en un futuro, nada más quiero que veamos el tutorial. Y durante el tutorial no voy a hablar mucho para que aprecien el voiceover del juego. Es más, lo voy a poner en el micrófono y para mí se ha notado la diferencia. Este tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. Click OK to continue. You can do this now. To bring the taskbar back, keep pressing backspace. Do this now. Good job. The recall window displays all previous speech in the mission. Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives give you information on what you must accomplish. You have just been issued a new objective. To access the objective screen, good job. This is the Objectives screen. Click the Learn How to Play Homeworld objective to get more information on it. To exit the Objective screen, Reporting. to issue orders, you must first select the ships you want to command. Click OK to continue. Left click on the scouts to select them. Scouts selected. New reinforcements available. A second scout squadron Understood. is launching. To select multiple squadrons, first hold down the left mouse button and then drag a box around both scout squadrons. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Notice that the taskbar has been updated with your selection. The taskbar lists all currently selected ships. Ships can be selected by left clicking, drag selecting, and by clicking on the ship icon. In order to master space combat, you must first learn how to control the camera. At this point, the camera is focused on a squadron of scouts. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Continue practicing camera rotation. When you are ready to move on, to zoom the camera, scroll the mouse wheel or hold down both mouse buttons while moving the mouse forwards and backwards. Practice camera zooming. Good work. When you are ready to continue, click OK. To pan the camera, move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Do this now. ¿Vieron ese detalle? La rueda en el mouse no era tan común en 1999, entonces te daba la opción de, en lugar de tener el scroll del mouse, apretar los dos botones. Es un juego muy, muy, muy viejo. Underway.
En route. Defensive perimeter set. Defensive perimeter set. Strike group acknowledged. Move order confirmed. Excellent work. Click OK. The arrow keys on the keyboard also pan the camera. Now, pan the camera until the scouts are no longer in view. Good work. Click OK to continue. Or keep practicing camera panning. To focus, this snaps the camera to the currently selected ship. In this case, the scouts. The default focus key. Excellent work. To focus on an unselected ship, hold the next topic is the sensors manager. To activate the sensors manager, the sensors manager allows you to see the game world from a much greater distance and is used for strategic movement and command of ships. Click OK to continue. The two green dots represent the two scout squadrons. From the sensors, the sensors manager also displays a camera control and ship selection work as normal in the sensors manager. All ships have a tactical overlay or TO for short. TOs help identify friendly and enemy targets. Click OK to continue. Friendly ships will have green TOs. Enemy targets will have red TOs. Allies have yellow TOs. Click OK to continue. Tab. Some settings display more information than others. Experiment using the camera in the sensors manager now. To return to the normal view, press spacebar. We will now cover ship movement. To effectively command your fleet, you must learn how to navigate 3D space. Click OK to continue. First, select a scout squadron. Remember, you can left-click or drag-select the desired ships. Standing now, right-click on this group of asteroids to issue a right-click move command. En route. Well done. Right-click movement orders a ship to move to a specified landmark. For example, another ship, an asteroid, or a piece of debris. Remember, you can rotate and zoom the camera while issuing a move command. Click OK to continue. The scouts have reached their destination. Ships can also be moved to any point in space. To use the movement disk, right-click on empty space or press the movement hotkey, M. Do this. Good work. The movement disk represents the current plane the selected unit is on. Right-click on a desired location to issue a move order. Strike the ship will now move in. to its target destination. The next lesson will cover vertical movement. While right-click movement covers most situations, vertical movement is needed to gain tactical advantages. Click OK to continue. Bring up the... Notice the ping on the map is above the world plane. The world plane is the horizontal disk at the center of the map. Click OK to continue. To use vertical movement, first select a ship. Standing now by. bring up the movement disk by right-clicking on empty space or press to raise or lower the destination point. Hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Order one of your ships. Good. This concludes this tutorial. Practice using the camera, selecting ships, and issuing move orders. When you're ready to move on, click OK to proceed to the next tutorial.